Hi. There's something else that happened in that discussion this morning. Um, the guy was saying that white people are mutations. Mutations. This is Sherry Veronica. And what my point to him was, but you depend on the mutations. You have their money. You have their licenses to drive on their roads. You, have, you went to school and you have their diplomas, their degrees. People go and bow before these mutations and take their titles. You depend. Everything you do in your life is dependent on these mutations. Now, let's say, let's say that your son or your daughter were to head Facebook or to head Amazon or to become Tesla. Take over Tesla, making billions, billions of dollars every month. Billions, not mil billions. Every month they're making billions. Would your kids be mutations when they, if they were to do the same thing that the white man is doing? Would there be a mutation or what would there be? Is the white man a mutation because you think that everything started in Africa and they came from white people, you know, they came from white people. No, they came from black people. White people came from black people and no one understands how white people came from black people, but that's what they say. People write it in books. People say that that's what happened and people run with that. They're always a story. When you see something in nature that cannot be understood, there'll be a story. There's going to be a story to run along with that thing that you saw because they always, always have to have some sort of explanation. Nothing can go without an explanation. They don't want to say, well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, they did say there was a missing link in, 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 in the human um, evolution. But... When you call, when you call someone that you depend on, a mutation, if that person is a mutant, what are you? What are you? You depend on the mutant. What are you? Are you less than the mutant? Or do you think that in some way you are better than the mutant? You just depend on them for their money. You just depend on them to ride on their planes to get on their trains, to buy their automobiles. Uh, what are you if you depend on mutants? And what if your kids were to replace the mutants? Would they then become mutants if they behaved the same way? If they socialized the same way, would they be considered mutants? Is a white person a mutant because of their skin? And if you are going to say because of someone's skin, because of the skin color, that they're inferior, you shouldn't have any problem then with people calling you a nigger. You shouldn't have any problem with them saying that you're a subhuman. You wouldn't have no problem or you shouldn't have no problem with them making sure that most of who you are and grow up to be will be in poverty. You, you can be poor. You should have no problem. No problem with that. The phone you have in your hand from white man. White man. You have an Apple phone? You have a Samsung? You, you, you live and exist in a realm of mutants. What are you? It's just a simple question. If everything you do depends on mutants, are you inferior to the mutants that you're looking? You seem to be looking down on them. Are you inferior or what? Please explain it to me. Please. Please. Okay? It makes no sense. It absolutely makes no sense because from the time you start looking at someone's color, and saying bad things about them. You should have no problem with someone looking at your color, the color of your kid's skin, and saying something bad about you and about them. It goes both ways. It's going to go both ways. And when you look at who are in control of militaries, it ain't you. 
It's not you. You're not in control of nothing. You don't own nothing. They can take it. The, mutant, the mutants can take what you have anytime they want. So what, what is it? What are you trying to say when you call someone with white skin a mutant? Are you ashamed that you didn't kill them when they had you and your ancestors in slavery? Are you, is that something that you're ashamed of? That you allow them to prosper and still rule over you into the 21st century? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay? So sometimes when someone is speaking, it's really, I, I have to, I kind of close down because I realize that if I am depending on a certain situation, if I am dependent on something for my livelihood or for me to exist the way I want to exist, and I think that that, that, that thing is inferior to me, that thing that I am depending on is inferior to me, it would mean that something's wrong with my thinking because how can I be dependent on something that's inferior? It's like me being dependent on a dog. It's like me being dependent on a dog. It's like me going into a dog store run by dogs trying to buy human food because I think that a dog is lesser than I am. Okay? They're different. We're different. A dog and a human, different. So for me to think that I am dependent on a mutant, that's why I said they're mutated, they're mutants. If you are dependent on mutated people for everything, for everything, you, know, you don't live in the bush, you depend on the people for everything. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? What are you saying? So sometimes, like I said, you know, sometimes I get into these conversations with people in my chat and they're, they're good. It's good energy and it's, it's good for me to think and for me to know how people think. So it's all good. But sometimes I, 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 I feel as though I'm in the wrong dimension. I'm, on the, I'm in the wrong place. I'm just in the wrong place. But um, that's it. Um, this guy was saying that white people are mutants. And yes, he depends on them for everything, but they're still mutants. They're, they're inferior. So uh, that's about it. Okay? Sherry Veronica.